So after countless mis <laughs> and system issues, apologies for the technical difficulties. We are back, and this is podcast number eleven. Yeah, once again for the Poa Podcast. Mm. Let me get a, a shot to commemorate what has been quite an ordeal yeah. getting to this point, yeah. including a full pandemic, you know? How we going? You me there, Jose. Shout out to Jose. Uh, Cuervo. During the second retake, you're going to skip over the African-American liquor again. I'm going to uh, take a shot go ahead and and you to go ahead Corvo. And, uh, give us a little background on this, though, real, real quick. Oh, and um, then I'll take a shot. Oh, that nigga missed the whole. <laughs> Damn, man. That's why I buy a lot, man. So, yeah, that was the biggest bottle they had. You dig? You know what I'm saying? I'm right there with you on a big bottle. Extravaganzas. But uh, that's a, a black-owned uh, liquor company. You know what I'm saying? From Texas. Uh, I think the name of the company is Premier 360, but that's Red River Whiskey. Oh, shout out Red River. You know, and uh, shout out what is it? Wolf Vodka? Uh, Noble Wolf. Noble Wolf mm. from last time, you know. Just that another shout out too. for the black owned business. Oh, uh, um, fucking. I, I read some more shit about that, um, that vodka. So, the dude, uh, uh, what's his name? Bryce. Cottrell or some shit like that. I think yeah. that's what his name is. Bryce Cottrell. He um gave a uh, chemist eighty dollars and a cheeseburger. And the formula oh, wow. came about. Eighty dollars and a fucking cheeseburger, Man. my nigga. <laughs> wow. Sometimes you don't realize that you gotta uh, talk about right. a flip. Yeah. I almost grabbed it again when I was in the liquor store because I saw it. It was like right kind of catty quarter to the fucking MVP vodka that I'm going to mm. get next week. And I was like, ugh. Like, that story kind of was just like, yeah, I can fuck with that multiple times now because some real shit. Right. Well, again, shout out to them. Shout out to all the black owned businesses. Shout out to Black Lives Matter. You know, and shout out to everybody that's been pushing for the cause. RIP to all the people that didn't make it. Again, arrest Breonna Taylor. Uh, killers, you know what I mean? Uh, rest in peace to George Floyd. You know, Alton Sterling, Philando Castile, Sandra Bland, the list goes on and on. We're going to do it for y'all. We're going to do it big, you know? But this is the Poor Podcast, people. Let's have a cheers as we get into it. And first things first, we got to get right into it. The hot topic of the motherfucking week, them ass cheeks on Meg the Stallion and Cardi B, man. Man, what what you think of the video? Uh, awesome visual, you know what I'm saying? Very well put together. Uh, Colorful. Colors was popping. Um... Cheeks was popping like it was choreography. It was, yeah, choreography. Very well put together. You know what I'm saying. Shout out to all the cameos, by the way. You know, Normani for sure. Um, I seen. I think it was with Kylie Jenner in there, yeah. which made a big stink for a lot of people. I mean, I feel like you know, um, a little bit unfair, if I would say so, just because. Just a music video. The girl's still a person, you know? Like, at the point she get online bullied, I don't even understand how, you know what I mean? You ain't get bullied regardless. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm going to let you hold this tech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Shout out to all the referees, you know? But uh, in addition, I think we, at this point, need to give a shout out to all of the female artists that's really holding the game together with all of these visuals, you know. It's a few, you know, rap artists on the male side, but the majority of the videos I see just be 
some shit where a motherfucker just standing around with a bunch of niggas. A bunch of dudes. A pit bull or some shit. <laughs> niggas got some guns know. or some like, drugs or some money. Like, like you know what I mean? Like, we, we way past that point. You know, and the women in that video, they had videography. You know, they had cinematography. They had special cameo appearances from, like, multiple different genres. Because, like, the money is, like, pop. I think the girl Rosalia is, like, a, a Latin star. You know what I mean? So, some people didn't even know who she was from our culture, but... Apparently she's like real big. I'm one of I'm some people, by the way, you know. But um, <laughs> it was an Instagram chick that I, re- I remember seeing in there. The chick with the little like weird twist in her head. I don't know, like the. Um, that was that. I think that was oh to my um. I think it's like Suki the Great. Yeah, uh, she like she like like an artist. Uh, uh, dick sucking. Um, but oh, I just <laughs> know that she be on Instagram. I seen her like yeah, like she popping, you know. But she just like popping for like being a popping chick. I don't really know no music from her, nothing like that. But you yeah, know, like apparently you know she she you know she got OnlyFans and that bitch be rocking, you know. And she's cool with a lot of the celebrities because she like made her own lane and respect to all women bossing up. You know what I mean? Shout out to. All of the OnlyFans chicks and, and, and the strippers worldwide, you know, yeah. doing this essential work. Bro, niggas be hating on... Ooh, they be hating on, on women, OnlyFans, bro. bro. Like, they be hating on Porn is free, so bad, like, bro. blah, blah, blah. Like, nigga, like... Like, then go watch some porn, yeah, bro. Nigga, you could have done hub. that without the shaming. Yeah. Like, if you wouldn't have said nothing, then you would have just went and watched some porn, get what two things would have happened. One, you wouldn't have been watching it, so she wouldn't have been getting paid for it. And two, you probably would have got a nut, you nut ass nigga. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> it's that simple, bro. Like niggas be mad at stupid <laughs> shit, bro. Like man, let me let me hit that motherfucking river, man. I, I want to see what it feel like. Let me go and get that. Niggas is uh, I'm trying to hit that uh, that gold boy. Oh yeah, man. My man gonna have to tell us about that. But yeah, yeah, yeah he got to tell us about that. But yeah, man, on that um, N- niggas is mad about the song with with Cardi and man, Meg, bro. bro. Like, how, bro, and I'm I'm just trying to figure out one thing. How miserable you got to be with your life to the point that two fine-ass Afro, Latina, and African-American women get on the screen where they put, well, at least four or five more popping and prominent women in a video that they chose to make and put on their particular platforms that you don't have to watch. How how sad could your life be? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, is it what what is it that you disliked about it? The titties, the ass, the skin, the the, the lyrics, the verses. They I wasn't think niggas flowing. had problems with the lyrics from what I seen. Like they wasn't flowing though. All the posts that I seen was like I can't believe they out here saying shit like this. They wasn't spitting though. They, they wasn't was spitting. Here, but, Bro, like I'm talking about shit. cadence. I'm talking about like I'm I'm a, I'm a fan of the art. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, they wasn't they wasn't rapping. They wasn't rapping rapping. They was like, killing that shit, bro. Like, they wasn't you. They wasn't throwing in metaphors and similes. They didn't have a few alliterations in there. They didn't. They was just you know just pussy 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 pussy. Nope, they wasn't. But I remember when the niggas was rapping like that and you niggas wasn't saying nothing. Bro, Slob on My Knob is like one of the classic songs. Oh, yeah. Slob, everybody knows Slob on My and Knob. Every nigga that I've seen that has something to do with this song could rap every word to Slob on My Knob. I bet you they could rap every word to like every stripper anthem that a dude done made. That's some strong shit. By the way, but no, no, you right. <laughs> Everybody else was like, "Ooh, it's nice and smooth." Yeah, like, that's some strong shit. shit. This nigga over here <laughs> drinking <laughs> granddaddy liquor, but I'm, I'm nigga, gonna. You take a rookie, it. bro. Like that was this smooth as hell, hell, bro. Granddaddy liquor. This shit tastes. Am I tripping? I done had some whiskeys in my time, and I can tell you right there, that one, sir, is smooth. Oh no, that shit is smooth. It's a it's, it's, smooth. It's also Man, whiskey. Red River. Like this is it's like take smooth. three for the shots, but I'm. I'm definitely gonna get that one, but 
Yeah, it's not like it don't even like smell strong. No, not well. In, see, now in my opinion, I can't even. It don't smell strong. Me, but it no, oh no, it's smooth. Smell strong. No, smells no. Smooth. When I'm saying it's strong, I mean the whiskey smell. That's what I meant. It well, okay, yeah, I get you on that one. It smell when you smell it, it's like, oh wow, that's this shit feel like it's about to just that burn. whiskey smell. But the actual you, drink, it's 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 yeah. As soon as you go like, at it, matter of fact. It's smooth. Shout out to, you know, Red River or, you know what I mean, smooth. on this motherfucking whiskey, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Texas, you know, Red River, you feel me? Another black on, and that shit was smooth. It's just some strong ass smell to it. <laughs> and that's cool, though. What proof is Eddie. But yeah, bro, you, get, you got all these different genres of music. And what I'll say is something that I've seen um, the artist Rhapsody uh, speak on, but they're not the only female artist that's out. They're not the only female artist that's getting a million listeners a month. Mm. They're not the only female artist that's dropping videos and shit. But I tell you what, they the, they the female artist you choose to watch then hate on when you could just, instead of hating on them, say, hey... Yeah, you got Rhapsody, you got Tank, you got all these different artists yeah. that you could have just went and got one of their videos and posted it on your page instead of retweeting and commenting on how you don't like their video. You could have put some shit on there you did like, yeah, because obviously they getting likes and obviously like see like so this be my thing and you know I ain't saying go with the crowd but. When you in the vast minority, when it comes to some hating shit, they don't make you want to examine yourself. Yeah. Like, you when don't you even want to wonder why everybody else liked it and you didn't, or you yeah. just feel like you that different. Niggas is roasting you for your hate. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You know, you don't wonder why. It, yeah. don't, it don't pique your interest as to why. You ain't never asked yourself, like, Outside of that stupid shit you said, which is, I can't believe that they talking about it like this. When a nigga be like, uh, oh, bitch, suck my dick. I yeah. put an X pill in Bro. her booty hole. She snort a line off my dick, and y'all be. Chris Brown is like one of the nastiest, like, people when it comes to, like, lyrics and shit, like, content in the songs. Like, if you listen to, like, Privacy, or if you listen to that song with, like, Joyner Lucas, and they in the ice cream truck, like, Nigga, <laughs> well, not only not only uh, like Stranger Chris Things, Chris Brown, that's like, an R and B artist. I'm talking well, about not, not the like R and B artists. We hear daily, like let's get let's keep it a bean. You know, female art. I mean, uh, rap. It kind of took a dip, and it's being brought back by people like Cardi B, uh, Nicki Minaj. Um, well, firstly, Nicki Minaj because she was, you know, what I mean, by far. Doing it by itself, so I don't want to put some respect on it. I already listen to Nicki music, but you gotta, you gotta, you, mm-hmm. you gotta respect the impact that she had on the culture and people that came after her, like Cardi B and them, which is and, and Meg that's got the torch right now. You know, those women are just coming coming up now. That's being like putting even for us to have a conversation of putting like female rap on the forefront. Yeah, and those type of female artists are the same people that make people like Rhapsody and stuff more relevant because. Now, if you want to listen to female rap, but you want an alternative, you're going to go searching for it. Yeah. When in, within the um, previous years, you wouldn't have even necessarily been checking for it just because Wayne was the best rapper out, and then it was, you know what I mean, the dance era, and, uh, and then it became the mumble rap shit, and you know what I mean, and and, and, the, he, he, and all of that, you know what I mean, so... <laughs> <laughs> we just getting to this point. You know what I'm saying? For real though, we just getting to this point. So, I mean, whether or not, like they say, good publicity, bad publicity is all publicity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and you still promoting. So I still appreciate you, hater, for for you know doing that. But you know, for me, I just feel like it's the ultimate sign of hate, you know. Yeah. Like, Especially as a dude. Like, how could you hate this song, bro? Like if you in the club and this shit going off, maybe it's because niggas is at the crib and they really can't be in the club like they want to to see girls like reacting to this shit. Right. Because like, if you in the club and this shit go off, like, you could easily be like, all right, I had my eye on you earlier, but like now you over here acting all snobby and shit. When this hoe on, like they over here getting live, like I'm trying to have a good time tonight, going over here. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's. 
Right. Girls can't talk they shit, bro. Bro. Like they can't feel. Bro. Women, hold up. The they real question. shit off? Like <laughs> y'all think women don't like sex? So I, I have I had this conversation before, you know what I'm saying? And if you do me one kindly while you know uh sparking, can you can you pass me that hat I threw? Um <laughs> But no, for real though, I've been noticing it and I really like hate that narrative, but you know, like a dude get on there like I'm saying all the time, you know, nigga, I fucking give a back. Yeah. You know, I fuck it in the face. I don't want no head, uh, young yep. boy. I, I just want head. Like even Nas gave bed, per, pearl excitement. necklaces in his raps, bro. You know what I'm like, saying like it's 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 so many artists. Backpack that, rappers is even, you know bro, what I'm saying? They talk about how they a fuck a bitch and, and don't want her, or they fuck a bitch and, or let a homies run a train or whatever. Like they been doing this shit. Like they been 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 doing this shit. Then you get a few, and this ain't the first time this to happen. They had the same reaction to Lil Kim. Which is by far the godmother of all of this shit. Yeah, you know, she, yep. You know, the, pretty the, much because like if you think about female rap before, like they were more on the rhapsody and Tink side. Bro, it was U N I T Y. Yeah. That's Unity and and, and MC, MC Lights. Light. MC Lights. Light. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. that's what was female. You know rap. what I'm saying? Salt and Pepper kind of right. like. They was they right. was but they that wasn't was trans, well, I don't want to say They wasn't period, they were they was, was like I want a rough neck. Somebody right. you know like but right. Lil Kim was like nah stick that dick in my pussy pull it yeah, out right. I'm gonna suck that dick until I get all of that <laughs> off of that. Like like she was definitely a lot more graphic in terms of what what she was trying to get across. She she was like, yeah. She was like, yeah. I'm a, See, I'm a fucking nigga. He gonna buy me everything. Yeah. And if he don't, I'm gonna fuck his bitch and take and a wedding Foxy ring. Foxy Brown like, came right behind right. her, and it was just like, right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's, and then Eve was kind of like borderline both. Right. But, but see, Eve wasn't really she could ride either. Yeah. But way, like, what they really want? She was like, you know, thick. Yeah. The but thigh. some of them songs Eve, was kind of like, like I know, I know. But I'm saying like the majority, like Lil Kim. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Made it cool to wear your titties out at the red carpet. Yeah, because then J-Lo could do it. Lil' Kim did that. Yeah. People forget Lil' Kim was the one that did that. Lil' Kim made it cool for you to stand posing with your legs open, showing how fat your pussy is. Lil' Kim did that. That wasn't nobody else. We That was Lil' Kim. All of anything you could say that was pretty much female rap oriented, or women rap oriented rather, um, it came from Lil Kim if it was provocative, like all of that, the sheer shirts, the the the, the outfits, the hair, the, the the double like all this shit they didn't they didn't recreated the, the Chanel bangs and the right. and the Gucci the Gucci the Gucci bangs and that was Lil Kim. Yeah, like you see it now, you think it's popping. It's a trend. Yeah, it's a trend that Lil Kim set. Back when nah. we was little kids and shit. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. To the point where we couldn't even like appreciate the greatness till you get to where we at now. You see what I'm saying? Where you can actually go back and say, damn, she was talking like this in 95. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, all her shit was rated X. Like, you gotta have both parents with you when you buy her shit. Like, one ain't gonna be enough. <laughs> like, <laughs> You feel me? Oh, look, one ain't gonna be enough. We need both of you. We need to know you got a mama and a daddy, and they both signed off on this, cause this is wild. This shit gonna be wild. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's the real. So you get fast forward to here, and in between there, you done got like I said. Even if a person, even if we're not talking about people like Uncle Luke or or or, or Sir Mix a lot, who made a video standing in the butt. Had a video <laughs> like, where where did y'all get y'all high horse? Cisco and when did with it come? the fucking hot dog and the fucking bro. Let's not forget the BT. Thong song. Let's not forget BT uncut. Late night. Hand me that uh, that you're dissing now. Let's not forget BT BT Let uncut. Me. Thank you, brother. I was gonna take a shot of that. I'm just making me a little sip over here again. Uh-huh. You know. I need to. I need something to get the fucking uh, caviar Wait, floating. No, I'm not. Right. Just a little sip. You feel me? 
But again, shout out to Jose Tradition now, my soon to be sponsor. Y'all go ahead to CTC. Get ready to cut that check, you dig? I'll be waiting. R I C K C O D E, Rick Cole, you know, you know. <laughs> That ain't who you're going to make it out to, pay to the order of, but you got it. Appreciate it. Ooh. And, and, and just look at, look, just one time, because my man, he always so low key with it. Is y'all seeing how luxurious the bottle is? What a cap at for it, bro. Put that whole thing together for him so he can see just how you do it, man. This is Chef Chad, also known as Instagram Chad, Twitterless Chad. Um, but we gonna Twitterless Chad, yeah. We Twitterless gotta, Chad. Gonna, so we gonna, <laughs> he got to he got to join the Twitterverse, bro. Twitter with Twitterless Chad. <laughs> you feel me? We feel me? But I don't even know who this company is. But I'm gonna give y'all an absolute one hundred for packaging, <laughs> like, bro. like. They got the Liberty Lady Dollar on that bitch on the Gold Bar, the original Gold Bar Premium Blend. Just the packaging <laughs> alone, I'm going to give it that, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm going to give it that, yeah. You know? That was the ultimate commercial, like a hook. <laughs> that nigga just freestyled that shit. <laughs> this, is, this is what you're going to get with me. I'm going to need them signatures, CTC. <laughs> But we ain't playing, man. We ain't playing at all. I'm gonna really need that. But oh, we gonna start motherfucking putting duct tape on y'all bottles. <laughs> 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 gonna be in it been drinking no name. No name, no name, no name. Oh. <laughs> we can tell by the shape, but that's, that's you gonna have to we assume. Just don't know. <laughs> you gonna have to assume in this motherfucker. But no nah, man, like all the uncut videos, bro. Yeah. I mean, the, the the chip drills, the the ultimate sliding the card down the right. crack. You like, feel me? Like and I nah, remember chip drill. They was these bitches eating it, pussy. They yeah, they that, was going live. They didn't have no tops on. Like that was literally the video. Like matter of fact, that was the, be that was one of the videos I didn't want my mom to come out of her room when I was watching. Bro, like, <laughs> like, oh, bro, <laughs> like, if, she come out, was, like, if you think about it in like in like last <laughs> terms, me and that nigga Corey sitting there chilling, like oh shit, and she that just was like, like soft porn, bro. Yeah, like, like really, like because it was chicks. They because was... uncut. Uh, uh, damn, what was that? The panties song. I ain't got no panties on. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like all of them joints. Um, pussy popping on the handstand. Yeah. Luda. Was y'all writing letters to BET about uncut? I'm sure they were. We no. Was unaware. Mm-mm. I'm sure they weren't. They wasn't because they were y'all be going to the in movies? the living room like, oh, shit. No, like, I'm talking about these grown dudes now. Oh, uh, okay. Said, when y'all be going to the movies and y'all see these uh, these shows, y'all see these shows like Insecure and shit where, where Power, where they showing titties and shit, I don't see y'all writing no motherfucking thesis statement is what I'm saying. I don't see y'all coming back like power people, was. People have opinions of what women are supposed to be like. Yeah. So that's where that's where you draw the line of of how people perceive women. Yeah. And, and, there's, and there's people right now that are like, women shouldn't be like this. Women should be like this. Now, women can be whatever they want to be. Yeah. But understand. Shout out to Amelia Earnhardt. But you know you gotta understand <laughs> that uh, people are gonna have their their opinions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's gonna come with with anything, anything, everything that you're doing, all that shit. Just like we named everything that's already been done before, right? I mean, this ain't nothing new. Everybody just gotta talk their shit. Yeah. They're gonna eat it up like they do. They're gonna shut the fuck up, eat it up, eat consume it. Up. it. And continue to fucking buy more and do what they do. Yeah, because these same we, niggas that's complaining be in a strip club throwing their bread right. they or getting in, drinks or eating right. wings they be or whatever. In strip club, you know what I'm saying? It's the same they niggas shit. that was that was throwing flipping. Throwing that shit. You, throwing that shit. Yeah. Same yeah, niggas that's same like cats, you feel fucking. Uh, Win and win a win a win a chicken dinner. I don't wanna I don't wanna 
you know, with the with the black on and then, but I'm a, <laughs> behind the bottle. I'm a, you know. You feel me? That hell is pretty player with That's these. That's the one. <laughs> the packaging, my nigga, like it had Alone. to be. It like, had to be though, right? It had so to let me tell you the story of how that came, how I came across this. Um, I went to a location that I uh, purchased things quite often to an extent, and um, I walked in, and first thing that caught my eye was that I was like, "What is this?" <laughs> I was like. What time is it? I looked at the time. I was like, man, I'm good. Let me grab that. I'm looking at it like, this motherfucker just looked nice. I just want to, I don't know if I'm going to even drink it. I just want to, I just want to put it in the house and just, just say, yeah, just, you got a gold bar? Yeah, it, just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy. You, know you want to drink? You want to shop? You know what I'm saying? But. I don't. I don't know nothing about it. It was just one of those spur of the moments. I looked at it, caught my eye. Yeah. I didn't know if it was gonna taste good. I didn't know if it was gonna taste like shit. I just bought it literally because of the look. Turned out to be really nice. That's why I'd be wanting to buy fifty shit because like his bottles is just like. It's what that Branson called? Yeah. CTC fifty. I ain't gonna say it again. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the check, nigga. Cut the check. Or we will we will start saying fifties liquor. It's called Branson Cognac for y'all people, but it's gonna be fifties liquor at NICTC. I'm not playing with y'all. I need that by Monday. Yeah, oh shit. Like <laughs> that nigga hacked your shit. Like right. I need access to this nigga shit. Nigga, you wanna, talking shit, don't think I ain't shit to no me? check, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking 50, nigga. Right. I rose Floyd, right. nigga. <laughs> With all due respect to 50, because I'm a big fan. And I've held I got down eight 50. powers, nigga. Right. <laughs> I've held down 50 since I was. I got I was all the power, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Going to Jackson, and I cussed out loud listening to Mini Man uh. in a quiet bus, because I had the headphones on, and I didn't realize how loud yeah. I said, He got hit if I hit, but, I, uh, but he ain't fucking breathing. That was like one of my favorite 50 lines. Like, shout out to 50. Boy, CTC 50. (laughs) Cut the check. You know what's up. I'm right here. Rick Cole, R-I-C-K-C-O-D-E at the ad. But don't make the check out there. Just go ahead and get at me. I'll get you right. You feel me? You could, though, because you know that's our sort of business name. One time for the paperwork. We in here. You know, but... Like I said, it ain't never nothing, you know, with, uh, you feel me? Um, it ain't never nothing with male stuff. I never hear this misogyny. I mean, I never hear this this um, wholesome view when, um, and I'm not trying to knock him, but when Future on the timeline for one of his numerous or incidents of yeah i mean niggas praise him for being toxic but it's literally he's a toxic like a guy joke. like it's literally a running joke you feel me and it's nothing they not even being toxic you know yeah. necessarily they just saying yo i'm a certain type of woman i don't like certain type of men yeah and i think gunner shout out to gunner said it you know when um when he was like uh um, he was telling them, you know, if you fuck with a girl, if you fuck with a heavy, then you got to take a shop and you got to be looking out for her. And people start, dudes start getting offended. And so he came back and he said, you know, I know why you offended. Because you broke. Yeah, you can't do it. <laughs> That's the only reason you be offended. It's not a part you of You mad at shit. them type of women yeah. because they didn't describe you as the type of dude they would fuck with. And that's what it really is. Yeah, you are you are you are at best simpleton mm-hmm. that can't really. You ain't got no game. You ain't got. You no the missionary talk. god. You know what I'm saying? Every, <laughs> every 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 position that Meg and Cardi said in this song is not some shit that you down for. You want to do? You're not the a right part of that squad with the lights yes. off under the covers <laughs> at 8:45. <8:45. laughs> missionary, I get it, bro. Yes. 
Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what was that uh, that Dave Chappelle skit where um, <laughs> <laughs> they traded spouses and he was like, "Is it okay if I just uh, put my pull my penis through the hole?" <laughs> 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 she was like, <laughs> "Bro, oh, sure. y'all with exactly. those niggas, exactly." Nope. And that's really what it is. I'm gonna believe that he until I'm like, until you get in my comments and tell me yeah. otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna believe that it's because you are. <sighs> You are literally, <laughs> y'all literally some weak-minded, weak individuals that ain't never got nothing, and they never talked to a bad chick. So, yeah. and by bad, I mean in terms of mind state, because there's all types of bad women. That's also a misconception. You know, you ain't got to be out here with your titties out to be bad. You could be out here with your titties in and be bad. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's all about what you really think, like, you know what I mean? Boss boss stuff, you know what I mean? Those type of chicks. Mm-hmm. You couldn't pull one of those, bro. Yeah. You got to go, if you ain't roofing bitches, Ooh. let's talk about it. No. You be the same uh, cats. No. Let's, I, yes. Let's, let's, I'm saying, no, let's not do that. No. No, no, like, definitely. Right, but like, I'm just you saying, know what like, I mean? that's... Funny. Many stories I done heard from the women, not everybody lying. Right, right, right. Not everybody right, lying, right, bro. Right. No lie. There's some like, real fucked up. This shit get dude. out mm-hmm. of hand, bro. Yeah. Out of hand. Yeah. And you know, it's so many different scenarios, so much to talk about with that. But yeah, but you know, yeah. we gonna we gonna move on to that as the next topic. Yeah, but these the same type of niggas that game. females wouldn't even trust with these type of stories though, because they feel a certain type of way about shit. Period. Well, these the same type of niggas that females wouldn't do this shit for. Yeah. Let's keep it a bean. You got to come off with a certain energy that motivates her to even want to do this shit. Yeah. And you that's ain't why never even one gave cat, off that shit, period. That's why, <laughs> that's why she ended up fucking you, and you think it was whack, and then I end up fucking her, and, and she doing some shit that only porn stars do. Or you fuck her, and, and you know what I mean? Because like, you're the missionary god, bro. Like, you're the missionary god. Yeah. You're the missionary <laughs> god. Bro. You OD on the missionary. You probably got two or three strokes and you done for. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm like saying? you don't, you don't got that many moves. Like none of them moves. And quite frankly, by the time then, that's why you hear these motherfucking women talking about. See, they offended about this wet ass pussy because women talking about wet ass pussy. Yeah, you got in it and you was done for. And and quick or <laughs> or flip that in. Maybe a pussy was dry. Did you arouse her? Dusty pussy? No, did you arouse it though? It's part of the game. Right. Foreplay is always key. Did you arouse You gotta her? you gotta warm up the engine before you take off. You just can't just jump in that motherfucker sometimes. Yeah, you I mean if you gotta warm up the engine or you just gotta give off that vibe that, Well, like, that's what I'm saying. It's two ways right. to arouse her. You got right. foreplay if 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 need if if the situation calls for it, and I was gonna say if need be, but it always calls for it. But mm-hmm. you also got a certain vibe like if you come off a certain way she can't wait to fuck you right I, right that's my that's my strategy i like to play with her all day mm-hmm. so she is literally it's about time it's ready like it's ready little caesars <laughs> hot, and ready. <laughs> hot and ready you did yeah. she ready that's why you don't hear women talking about foreplay as much yeah a lot of times if you do it right you're not ready for a play. To, right. You can play with a mind. You can play with a body. You can do whatever you want to do to get her to that point. But right. once she there, she there. She going to be on your ass. Right. I hear you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you're going to have to be like, stop. Are we, we at the light. Wait, we still in public. <laughs> we still in public. Like, ah, what you doing? Yeah. And that's real. Yeah. But... I get it, bro. You never experienced that. Yeah. And so you think it's a myth. Yeah. You think it don't exist. Well, let me put it all in your catch, Smith. Shout out to Lodi. You the nigga that got OnlyFans. So like you, I that hate OnlyFans. It's like, oh, you can watch porn because like all that shit is your fantasy and shit. Like, oh. this nigga's really out here. <laughs> well, this nigga's out here that's got chicks that's got OnlyFans. And, you know, we can talk about that too, but. Yeah. Um. More importantly, it's chicks out here that niggas is managing that got OnlyFans. You know what I mean? Because they understand what it is, you know. 
And let's make no mistake. The business of sex is the oldest profession. It's in the Bible. If you subscribe to that type of, you know, reading, then you understand it's in the Bible. It's been there. You know, Jesus' wife was supposed to be a prostitute. Mary Magdalene. Yes, sir. That's what that's what it say, you know. Uh, so when you get to talking about that as a as a a profession or something, okay, so you have to be going against literally like fifty thousand years of human civilization. Like, it's been that. So it's ain't just start with Meg. Ain't just start with Lil' Kim. You know, I just was on Twitter the other day and it was a song from 1935. That shit had that doo wop beat, that that old ass, you know how they used to sound in the old back in the day. She sounded like a church song, but she was literally talking about fucking. I think I can find this shit if I cause I retweeted it. I think I could, if I wanted to pull up yeah. my phone, I could find this shit. But it's like, yep, yeah, she was talking about fucking. Yeah. I mean sex has always been prevalent, bro. Like and niggas uh, just don't you heard No, she was saying fucking. Like, yeah, she was like, fucking. Like, this was in 1935. Oh, yeah, that's... And she was like, fucking. Uh, I I'm mean, fucking. like, actually fucking. saying it is like, wow. Right. Like, she was act like, fucking. In general, is Well, what you think Let's Get It On was about? I mean, yeah. When but, I get that feeling, I need yeah. sexual healing. Yeah. Okay, now, I don't want to, That was like know, 30 years later, though. Do too much. I know I'm a, a great singer, so don't y'all, you know what I mean, get too... I ain't gonna drop no albums no time soon, though. But when I do check out that mixtape, <laughs> you dig? But yeah, bro. <laughs> wait, wait, the wait. The Easter egg. You feel me? He dropped one real quick. Fuck. You feel me? The mixtape is coming. Right. The mixtape is coming. It's Niggas might as well. On. You know what I'm saying? Songs about me, not you. You feel me? Let me see if I can find this shit. Oh, y'all keep talking. I'm just trying yeah. to find this little stupid video. But it's just weird, bro, that niggas would just, like, automatically just, like, run and hate certain parts of the song. Like, niggas was like, she said that she don't cook and she don't clean. Like, for one, she rich. And then niggas was like, well, she's setting a bad example for all the people that want to listen to her. Well, like, them people is going to have to live their life regardless. choose to listen to her. Yeah. You can listen to something and not... <laughs> I don't want to play too much because then you got to ask for royalties and all that, but yeah. you keep it under a certain time frame. And you good, so you heard it. Yeah. That was in 1935. And you fucking. She said, I got a big, broad ass. And you fucking. I'm talking about fucking. And you fucking. That's what she said. <laughs> Man. Like, that was in the 30s. This shit ain't this like, shit ain't brand new, bro. Like, none of this is new, bro. Like none of this is new. But y'all offense? Oh, that's new. It's weird. That's weird. You're weird. Extremely weird. Like, You're like, weird. Hey. It's odd. It's odd. Like you, you can't you can't call them odd. I can. You can't. I did. Just because you don't I understand. Shall. Their perspective, right, or their narrow mindedness. No, right? no, when it comes to, or when it come to some shit like this, like this ain't even the most graphic song that I've right. ever heard, bro. Right, like, you're right, even the edited version is like, Raunch. yeah, you remember when you was little and you heard back that ass up the edited version, and then you heard the back that ass up the real version. Right. It's not that to me, right? Well, even then, like. Uh, it's a different perspective. Than Uncle yeah, Lou, this but time, I mean, still, like... I get you, though. The difference they still there. Like, Cardi and Meg said some more, like, nastier shit, but it's not it's not that bad of a song, bro. All right, like, P. Pimp C. And that's all I'm going to say on that. I think enough is said when I say that. If we think about his lyrics, come on now. Mm-hmm. Come on now. She up in there, she sliding on the pole, and when she been over, you see that. Uncle Luke pushed the limits on purpose. Come on you now. You know what I'm saying? Like, Harry Potter. But, huh? Oh. Talking about, what? Yeah. What? What are we talking about? Is we talking about, like, bitch? You feel me? What is we talking about? What you? T- what is we talking about? They making a catchy song. 
that's gonna vibe for the strip club. It's gonna vibe for the ladies. Yeah, the and, same. And that's what it come down to in my eyes. The Y'all same niggas like that I happy. hear complaining about this song did not complain about uh, that Devin the Dude song that show him what that pussy made for. Like uh, y- uh, niggas was not. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Niggas, I've, I've not seen the timeline. Okay, but you also have to understand too, though, right? It's sensitive times right now. People are fuck are, that shit. Uh, no, no, but you got to be realistic with the situation. Well, I've been on Twitter are, since '09, bro. Fucking, I'm what you call a Twitter. People elite. are fucking sensitive. People, people I've been are on Twitter on since '09. Like I've been on they Twitter for eleven years. So they got to been say on there something. for eight. I've been on there for eleven years. It'll be like you. I can right? tell you. This, I can tell you the changes in social media and what became sensitive and what didn't. That's not one mm-hmm. of those things, bro. It's not a thing where at one point it was free game for everybody and then it wasn't. It wasn't. This has been something that's been an like, ongoing problem. That women talk about, that dudes don't really talk about, but we take the time on our platform to touch on all, ma- all matters that matter. And that's something that matters. So you like, motherfuckers always, need to stop hating on women. But there's always what the be, fuck. There's always gonna be somebody that's gonna be hating on something. Yeah, but this yeah, is like but to no, it's extreme, no. You gotta understand, bro. it's a collective, bro. It's like a narrative. No, 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 no. I get it. I understand. But the way I'm trying to understand, and I'm not justifying the actions. Yeah. I'm just saying that there's always gonna be that opposite pushback, right? To to any situation. And to this, just like what you said, right? When Uncle Luke yeah, came out. Yeah, for it out. to be dudes, though. But th- but it's different times, right? Different time frame. People are different. Yeah, but the niggas that's complaining about it, bro. I'm just saying. You can people. scroll through their timeline, and they telling you they about to so, get the so, strip club. So, contradiction and hypocrite? Yeah. You're okay. a fucking hypocrite, because okay. nigga, I know okay. you're about to hit BTs. I can tell you what strip club you hitting, my nigga. You, on, you in Fort Worth. You are 35, my nigga. Like... Bro, my man niggas, damn near need to say the act. Bro, like, I'm not even going to... <laughs> Don't I'm, give him no fame, though. Yeah, we ain't I'm doing not, that. I'm but, just saying. He being that specific. And that's just one of the dudes that I've seen. You feel like, me? I, well, shit. I, damn, I, I'm not aware of that. Yeah. I'm just saying. Like, for, like, for certain people, like, it, either you trolling and you making... Right, and Women that's what I think. Bad, that's what period, I would think or believe are, as most people do. They're just trolling like, people. Literally. Are you just like the missionary god? Like right. one of the two. Right, right, and right, the right, troll like right. trolling, like, I'm not a fan of that shit, period, because then you get niggas that are your friends that automatically ride with you because it's you saying some shit. No, 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 no. I'm not and saying. I'm not saying people. I'm just saying. No, I'm like just people saying. That specifically, go out to troll purposely. Yeah, that's right? what I'm saying. Like they just go out and just talk some shit, just to get some shit started, just because everybody else is saying this. Yeah. I'm gonna say this. Yeah. And and fight the point of even though I know that I may be agreeing with what you're saying, what you're saying, I'm gonna argue this point. Yeah. And still continue to do that. Yeah, but what, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. But what I'm saying right, is, you go the other direction. No, nah, it's just pretty much the same direction. But like, let's say I said some shit because I'm trolling that some other people like not agreeing with. Okay. If I say that shit just because it's me, it's gonna be some I'm niggas sure. that's right, gonna right. be like, hey. Okay, right, 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 right. Because you know right, what, bro, this right. nigga been pretty official. Like, right, he, right, right. I get you now. Right. 100%. And even though you joking and you playing around, like it's gonna, and then that narrative like starts right. to trickle down to other people, and it's not good. But bro. see, I don't right. feel like this one of them narratives becomes toxic. Yeah, this is something I've seen. Correct. All right, don't I'm get just, me wrong. I mean, this shit. is one of them narratives because this niggas out here that's doing that shit. Well, no, 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 cool. no. I'm saying I get. I just so pointed you got, a you nigga got, out that I think is doing it, and it's you not got cool. you got social media right now. One thing I say that has changed is. One thing I didn't see back in the gap on social media was all of this women versus men junk in the first place. Yeah, because everybody just got on there and had a good time. Right, so it was just fun. Now it's all black men don't do this and black men don't do that. And then, of course, when you accuse somebody of something, they're going to try to defend themselves. So then it's a back and forth. Mm -hmm. This ain't one of them scenarios. Yeah. Y'all watch the video. Or two fine ass women that was, I had other fine women in there and was colorful, was 
thought out, was detailed, was choreographed, was was um, outfit eccentric, was was on point with the graphics. And the only thing you could think is, why they so vulgar? Yeah, if a dude did the same shit with the same lyrics, saying that he was doing this shit to a girl with the same shit going on, if it, it would if be it, no all, If you switch the two peop- main characters in this vi- in this video to dudes, and you keep everything else the same, the chicks doing the splits, the 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 chicks throwing ass in the water, all of that. There's no uproar. There's no all. uproar. It's just a lit video, as they say. That's all it would be. All right. That's what I'm getting about. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about the lineage of, of, of that. I'm talking about y'all literally are hating on this, and the only thing you can pick is the same shit Jermaine Dupri was saying. They're absolutely already, already cleaned this clock on in a very respectful manner because there are other artists. And if you really felt that way, let me scroll through your timeline and see how many times you've been retweeting and talking about these conscious rappers. If you really felt that way, let me see how many times, uh, what's the chick name? I can't remember her name. The, 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 oh, man, I wish I knew her name just to shout her out. But she, you know, a dark a dark skin, uh, the girl that was on the, um, the tiny desk with the flow. I retweeted her a couple times. But she's like, really, she's a spitter. She came up off of Twitter, like, Damn, it's like she got a real weird name. It's like Chuki or something like that. And and she's like a, a, a real spitter. Like she spits, you feel me? And um and her shit, let me see if I can find it while I'm here. But um her shit goes hard. And I don't I don't I don't remember you cats like motherfucking putting her on. I don't remember you cats talking about that. Y'all wasn't y'all wasn't retweeting it. Y'all was on some other shit. Mm-hmm. Y'all was on some other shit at the time. Y'all was fine with Beat King and throw that ass. Hold up, bitch. Hold throw that ass. Yeah. Y'all was cool. Bro, niggas can do whatever they want. But as soon as a female make a song about how they got all the power and shit, like niggas just like, nah. I knew I was going to catch it. Her name is Chica on Twitter. Her so, name is um, Oran Cool. Spitter. Straight up spitter. Be spitting on the mic. Just... Straight up spitting on that bitch. That's how that's how much he spit. You did not retweet her. You did not talk about her. I got a question. So, like, you ain't ever, you ever been chilling with a chick that you you know what I'm saying you done y'all done did it a couple times. You know what I'm saying. But you ever went over here and y'all thought y'all was chilling and fucking all of a sudden she just like. And she, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, we just get this in. and That's what I'm saying. That's what this song is, bro. Man, I done had a scenario where, and I don't want to be too candid, you know what I mean? But I only ever had one threesome in my life. And I had nothing to do with it. Hmm. Nothing to do with it. I only ever had one in my life. And I had nothing to do with it. Like, I didn't plan it. I didn't talk to the chicks beforehand. I didn't talk to the chicks about that. When I got there, it was none of that. It was literally. It never like, happens that way. It was literally a narrative where we was gonna go somewhere. Totally well, sometimes it probably would, but we were supposed to go to. I'm not that organized. Uh, we were supposed to go to a <laughs> club or some shit. We met at the girl house to pregame, and somewhere or another, boom, she like, you know what? Actually, let's do this. Yeah. You wanna go in now? I'm like, <laughs> nigga, what? Bro. Say less of them. I mean, because I ain't finna get punked out. You feel me? But the same niggas that's and mad at this song. I didn't make it through the doorway for he was taking my clothes off. Yeah, but the same niggas that's mad at this song have only ran trains on chicks. They probably never had With two the, chicks. Through their boxers. Them. Like, you know what I'm saying? They probably never been in situations to where, like, this song is something that they could relate to. And that shit no, is. No, it's just like, never been. No, nah, what it really is, it's never been a, a situation. But even if where, you haven't been there, it's like, why would you hate on it? Well, no, nah, I just think it. Well, no, no, you might be right. I'm saying, I just think of it as a situation where we're talking about men that don't think women should talk like that. But these are also the same men. They think women shouldn't have these opinions. It's the same eye. niggas that's 
probably like been with a couple of their homeboys and it's been like one or two chicks and the chicks was down for whatever and they still did it. Like you going to do that, but they can't rap about being with one dude. Well, you know no, no, no. Like, chicks is like, down for whatever. Cardi said she got a ring for this shit, bro. But like, they, they keep thinking, see, we talking about the type of These niggas not married think. though. Like, <laughs> well, what I'm saying is we talking about the type of people, in my opinion, that think that they got so much game. See, one of the main things I learned in life as I started to get older was you ain't got no game, bro. If she wanted to do it, she was going to do it. And if she didn't, she wasn't going to do it. Sometimes the game is you the know, vibe. You don't have really have to have like Now, you got to have a gift of gap huh? or, or, or give or take because yeah, women like to talk to a certain type. Well, let me rephrase. The chicks I've talked to like a certain type of, of vernacular or dialect going on. Yeah, so I can see that. So they want to, you know what I mean? But make, it, make no mistake, they want to hear that so that they can make the decision for themselves. Mm-hmm. You ain't talked to out no panties. You ain't talked to out no pussy. Even a pimp. You only encourage her to do what she already thought. Mm-hmm. Even if you pimping her. Mm-hmm. You only, like, she want to be your hoe. Because when she don't, guess what? She either get knocked or she go do something different. But she wanted to be your hoe in the first place. Your job now is to make her feel good about that. Mm -hmm. And don't fuck it up. Now that you could call game, but let's make no mistakes. (laughs) I mean, the don't fuck it up part is probably the biggest part of it. (laughs) You feel me? Now that's some game. And that's some, that's shout out to Gilly. That's a million dollars worth of game. I just gave you for free. But you didn't talk nobody out their panties. You ain't talk. She, like, first night, all yeah. of it, she had decided before you did. Correct. And at that point, 100%. to my man Dub's point, don't fuck it up, bro. You keep doing everything like you're doing, she going to the hotel with you. She going to tell you, I'm coming back to your room. What you about to do? She'll ask you what you about to do. Oh, I was finna. Oh, you don't wanna go back to the hotel? Like, like, what? You don't do none of this. So, but I, that's that's the cats I'm looking mm-hmm. at. That's the, that's what I'm thinking, bro. Just keeping it a bean. I'm thinking yeah. these are the same cats. that's like, so when a chick get to talking like this, cause it ain't about the fucking party. It's about yeah. The, you know what I'm saying? He paid his tuition for this wet ass pussy. He paid it. You know what I mean? They don't like. They don't like that. Nope. But it's niggas that's out here that's doing that that's shit. That's doing that out here that's... by far. Same thing with the OnlyFans. You don't like that she can flex that she made 15000 this month. Off or of today. Or in a couple hours. Because or... you didn't make 15000 yeah. Nigga, no bullshit. I started hearing that shit. I talked to the wife. I said, yo, we need to find another side of us. <laughs> because if these motherfuckers is making money like <laughs> that, <laughs> like, bro, off some... No, I, no, 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 no. Like feet? And, no, no. Well, I was just about to say, feet? let me be fucking clear. The fucking like, feet shit is anything, fucking crazy. Bro, like, we back. Um, <laughs> my man, Chef Chad, had to, uh, some prior engagements he had to hit. So, you know, we're going to keep it going. And, you know, just, you know, do our thing. <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> But nevertheless It's part of the game You know what I'm saying It is and It, it is, is what it is for now. Yeah man I can't believe niggas is hating on females Getting their shit off like that I can't I can't believe niggas not entertained by the, like... We spun that around. I want Jose to be on the jump. Yeah. Especially since y'all gonna sponsor me. That's a, it's a big enough bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if they sponsor you, you know what I'm saying? Because we're gonna, we gonna do our thing with the liquors. But you pretty faithful with yours. So they gotta eventually come through. They will, for sure. Woo, sigh. Woo. 
Sorry. <laughs> bring it on down. Bring it on down. Bring it on Fine. down. Fine. But yeah, bro, we got we got a bunch of different shit where cats is hating. You know what I mean? Um, um, from a hating standpoint, uh, you know, um, you remember that cat FGBD? I mean, I'm sorry, FGB Duck that I uh, showed you. He had made a track like. The, the bitch was called Dead Bitches. Mm-hmm. Like three weeks ago. Three weeks ago still. Don't you know, Buddy had got like shot since then. Like yeah. killed. Like I dead. seen his gun jammed and all that shit. Bro. bro. Well, that was at 30 stick. Can't be putting aftermarkets in, um, yeah. in, um, in the factory junk because they don't work. Like that shit look good for the camera, but mm-hmm. everything got to be up to date. Yeah, you know, cause um, the thirty stick a, da- a jam on you. That's what happened with him. Maybe if it ain't jam, he'd be different. It'd be different right now. More importantly, to all my street niggas that may be watching YouTube, or whatever, or y'all are always got these vests on in these videos. Please wear a motherfucking vest. That shit costs three hundred. Maybe a five hundred, maybe a thousand. With all yeah. the racks y'all flexing, put a motherfucking vest on, bro. Or have security, or have like. Some well, up. you can have you can have all of that. Nah, but, but there's like, no reason for you not to have a level four. When you get shot in your leg and you get AR shot in other places, you know what I'm saying? Like the the vest is cool, but it only protects certain spots. So, yeah, but like if you're not gonna have like some people that's gonna shoot back for you when your when your gun jam, then. No, no, no. That's true too. I mean, you can move out, but there's a lot of scenarios there because you ain't have to be in the city. R.I.P. to FB, FBG Duck, by the way. Yeah, I'm like, not going to disrespect him or like, you know, shit like that. Cause... And I'm not trying to disrespect nobody. What I'm yeah. saying is I'm trying, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to advise y'all on how to move better. Like, if you can put on a motherfucking vest, that's going to increase your chances. They got level three, level four. Level three is stop anything with a motherfucking uh, pistol. Level four will stop anything with a motherfucking rifle. Yeah, niggas done got shot at in bulletproof cars, and you niggas feel me? done recorded the amount of bullets that hit the car. You feel me? And shout out to Dolph. You know what I'm saying? People was on that bitch, and they literally was, you know, um, putting in. Yeah, but if you gonna put yourself at that position, like you know what I'm saying? Like when niggas say it take money to go to war, or it take money to do certain shit. Like niggas, they do. niggas because not it's bullshit. Not about, it's not just about. Uh, it's not what you can say Because any nigga could say some shit Or like all that But Right You really gotta be able to You gotta be prepared Like If you gonna say some shit You really gotta be prepared Like You gotta make sure That you cross Your gun attention. don't jam Like no, You gotta you make sure you gonna do you, some shit like dead bitches If you ain't seen the song Just go support I don't know you know what I'm saying? What his royalty situation was like. But if you listen to it, I'm pretty sure his family get paid or something. So still go listen to this nigga shit. But if you listen to the song, that warranty you have it on a bulletproof vest, fuck it, a bulletproof hat. You supposed to not move nowhere without your people. Nigga, you really don't even need to be in Chicago. Mm-hmm. When you're talking like that. And I ain't saying like you scared because niggas always do this shit like I'm No, a, but niggas no know what it is, bro. Like, if you're from Texas, you know how Chicago move. You, if you're from anywhere in the United States, you know how certain areas in the map move. Mm-hmm. So you really just can't be out here, like saying whatever you want to say. Right, because niggas be repercussions. Hating. Some niggas don't be hating. Some niggas be hurting. And it don't have Either to be the niggas go. that niggas That's suspect it. to do it, bro. Because yeah. niggas from this area move a certain way, so you know. Like, hey, nigga, I'm a fan. Or I ride with this nigga. He don't know. You don't know, bro. Like, when whenever you put that type of energy out, like, you putting yourself up for whatever happens. And it's, it's not cool. It's not good. It's not a good look for yourself. It's not a good look for... Well, let's look at another... Let's look at a uh, situation, you know. Young Dolph... <clears throat> was doing that. Young Dolph was, you know, talking about a nigga to a very disrespectful level. You know what I'm saying? And I fuck with Young Dolph the long way, but you know what I mean? He was talking to a nigga def- very disrespectful level, and they went to 
no extent, in my opinion, because none of this is confirmed, to make sure that he corrected his tone. Since then, he ain't been saying this shit. Because, yeah, if you think about it, none of that, that shit gone. Yeah. Nigga making songs now. But when it, when it comes to songs, like, it's not the same as the streets, bro. And it's I not at all. I don't think a lot of people understand that shit because a lot of street niggas might get into music and they think that they can make certain shit and it's it's not that way because it could be the person that you think is behind them getting whatever you thought they deserved, but it's not. No, it's, it's not. probably somebody else that was like, hey, bro, I've been knowing this nigga since back then. And I'm not fit to let this shit ride. Or, bro, it's niggas that might feel. See the thing I was trying to get niggas to understand when you diss a nigga like that, because everybody was talking about King Von, Lil Dirk, but these is sets, yeah. gang sets from the different areas of Chicago. So more than just cheap, more than just King Von or Lil Dirk feel a way about this song. There's his cousin. There's his nephews. There's yeah, his uncles. it's distant people that... that, that you see what I'm saying? Yeah. These ain't people you beefing with, per se. But you check a nigga off the map, you know a lot of people, Chris. You see what I'm saying? Like, there's more than one person or one type of faction of person that feels a way about this. So it ain't always got to be a situation where the person that you thinking is the person is that person. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It could be a situation where... Me. It can be a situation where the motherfucker that that's doing the shit is just a little homie from the set. Cause you gotta remember, people niggas want their stripes. Niggas right, want, niggas want their stripes and shit, bro. And what motherfuckers be failing to realize, like FGB, Duck, he was um twenty six at the time. Young as fuck. You see what I'm saying? Young as fuck. But same token, if you 26, niggas be banging since they was 11 or 12. Mm -hmm. So you are 10 years removed, minimum, from some little nigga. If he was 13, really banging. You see what I'm saying? No, well, that's if you was Like, really if he was really banging. No, he, like, was, he was about that life. No, but I'm saying, like, some niggas be claiming that they was nah, banging. I know, and I know, not I know banging, what you're saying, but like, I'm saying he was about that life. He was. I mean, it was already vouched for, known, like, you know what I mean? Like, he was, he was one of them people. Like, you can ask around. I got Chicago homies. He was, he was one of them people. There's a few of them people, you know, mm -hmm. um, that, that they, 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 they really that. Like, dirt. King Von, people you, like I know a lot of y'all people might not heard of these people, but these people is yeah. King Niggas Von is official. Like, King Von already beat murder charges. You see what I'm saying? Like that's how much he wanted them people. He had to beat murder charges, like, and he beat them. You know what? You know? Do you know what you become in the hood when you beat a murder charge? That's legendary, though. That's you a god. Yeah, that's. When you beat a murder charge, when they take you to court for mm -hmm. it and you beat it, yeah, you're a god. You're not you're not a regular anymore. Mm -hmm. You're King Von for real. Though that's the people we're talking about, but that's what I keep trying to get people to understand. It's not the King Vons. It's not them. It's the people that you don't know of that you never heard of. Some little cat and he really broke. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Because we didn't seen it, bro. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know how far from the hood you been, but I lived in the hood of hoods. You yeah. can get a hood nigga to do anything for $1,000. So you get to talking about $2,000, and $3,000, $10,000, $20,000. you talking about big bang yeah. in a nigga head. $10,000 ain't no money, but to a nigga like that, they get the job a millionaire. Done. Yeah, and they get the not, job done. You know how much weed and 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 pounds I can I can buy with ten thousand. Like for me to smoke, along with being able to re up and cop, and I come back and man, I'm not yeah. even gonna get into it. But and some know. niggas, you know, what I'm saying, won't even do it for the bread. They just do it for the name. 
Right. And that's that's and they do like they do anything for clout. Shout out to the Mikos. You feel me? That's just what it is. Yeah. People do anything for clout. Niggas might not get no bread, but niggas in the hood would know that hey, when it came to this, that nigga did it. Like and that shit is whack, but niggas do what they do. Right. Right. And a lot of this shit go down to who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, as a person, like I said, for me, if I'm going to be doing that, then I got to move different. Mm -hmm. And like I said, that's not to speak ill of FGB Duck because it's too late for that. You know what I'm saying? Number RIPs for him. This is just well wishes for the people that's still out here because I got a bunch of cousins, a bunch of of friends and shit that that's that's out here. You feel me? Like a bunch of I got I got family members direct, my brothers and shit. You see what I'm saying? That's out here. Not no not no none of the bullshit they out here. You feel me? They'll they'll take it as far as it can go. Mm hmm You gotta move different, bro. Like everybody I know that 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 moves like that. You got to move different. Like, because at that point, when you as big as somebody like that, you got to realize a cat might see you on the street, not talk to you, but take a picture of you and say, I just seen so-and-so right here. Not knowing who you are. I know shit like that. Not knowing who you are. Just because you looking flashy or some shit. You no, know well, they saying? might know who you are, but every fan don't come up to you and take a picture. Some people might take a picture and tag where you at. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And that puts you in a radius. That you puts you in saying? a radius, bro. To where if... You can pinpoint, hey, this nigga was here in this last hour. You right. Know you see what I'm saying? saying? Now, it's ball game. Right. Because they're going to hashtag your name. Yeah. And shit like that. They're going to at you and shit like that. That people can search. That was kind of like the pop smoke shit, where niggas could figure out what the address was based off the tweets, yeah. based off the um, the tw the Instagram posts where I'm gonna be here, this, this, that, and the third, and that's what they did, and that's a prime example. You got to move different. Mm -hmm. You can't just say, "Oh, no, everything is NDA." You feel me? Yeah. I mean, even even if you gonna post some shit like. A nigga like me, I post my shit like the next morning or like the next day. Where like, that's exactly what I do. Exactly what I do. I'm not posting nothing the same night. Basically, I post and let you know what I had going on, but I ain't posting and let you know what I got going. Yeah. on. Yeah, and if I do post, I'm not doing no location or I'm not doing no shit like that. I'm just. Well, like, I, even, I don't even. This post, what I'm going. I'm not gonna lie. I don't post. Like most of the time, whatever I'm doing, it's pretty lit. So I'm not able to. Post at the time because I'm not thinking about it. Either I'm lit yeah. or the situation pretty lit. I only post like I might take some pictures, but I'm not getting the time to post, or I don't want to post because I might want to put a caption. I ain't got time to do that. I take a few pictures of whatever, and then later on it's like I'm gonna post it. Like yeah, this was in wherever because I was there. It makes it no less relevant, relevant whether I post it right now. Or the next day. Yeah. Or even a week later. Or even yeah. a month later. It don't really matter. Yeah, because I just put that shit on my phone and it's... It's it's in there. It's free game. Right. You see what I'm saying? I can put it whenever I want. It still, it still happened. I was still there and you was never there. That's like a lot of the shit that we do, though. But That's what I'm saying. I be there and you never there. I don't want to hear your shit. But you ain't going to catch me, though. You not. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna get a post out of me that says yeah. I'm I'm wherever I'm supposed to be or whatever. Hey, I done seen a thousand niggas go to Galveston since we went there. Mm -hmm. And they trip ain't been like ours, bro. <laughs> and that's Galveston, dog. Like. But you gotta understand, and that's what I understand too. <laughs> niggas money don't be matching the attitude. And that's not a knock on nobody. Still gonna live your life, but I'm just saying like when it come to us, you know what I'm saying? It's, it is what it is. So, it's what it is. You know what I mean? Like, you know? And 
that goes back to the same thing of the opposite side. If you didn't sign the deal, you worth a few mil or whatever. You got to move like you worth a few mil. Because mm-hmm. you got to understand 10000 is a lot to a nigga. Yeah. 10000 ain't but 1% of your net worth. Literally 1% of your net worth. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But to a nigga in the hood, that's everything. Yeah. Bro, if this nigga Tory fucked his career up. He may have, bro. It's like a nigga was kind of leaning towards the publicity stunt. But, like, if this nigga fucked his career up, bro, because he ain't said shit yet. He may have, bro. He ain't said nothing. He may have, bro. Niggas got to say something, bro. Because. It's been weeks. I mean. It's been almost a month, bro. Well, he got arrested. They talking about deporting him and all of that. Yeah. But from a pop culture standpoint, I'm thinking it ain't nothing he can say. Yeah. Because if you. He might have got Ja Rule, bro, and he didn't even have to do a diss track. If you. Or have a diss track go towards him. Meg was stagging in the foot for real. Whether you shot in the foot or whatever. But it's still a situation where, there, like I've said, I said on the but last that, podcast, that there's no reason for that. Yeah. Stop talking to her. I can stop talking to you. It is what it is. We, we, we stopped talking for whatever reason. And that was part of people's reason why they didn't like the song. It's because... Like, Meg Thee Stallion was talking about how she dominate dudes and shit. Mm-hmm. And she was like, Tory Lanez was like 5'3 or 5'4 and he 120 pounds or whatever. And you that still shit a don't man, matter, bro. bro. You still a man. Yeah. At the end of the day, you still that a man. That shit don't matter. And you got to take care of your business as a man. Yeah. And you didn't handle it properly is... if you shot her in both feet, bro. Right. Right. Especially, like, seeing a video and if you got invited to the party because she was cool with Kylie, my nigga, like, you can see it now. Like. Right. Kylie was in a video, my nigga, like, if that's the reason you there and you's. Mm. Right. You ain't saying shit, bro. See the thing he is, was the hottest nigga of the quarantine, dog. Like, he was by far with the fucking radio shit that he was doing on Instagram and fucking Meg was there. Like you had it going, bro. Like you worse than Ike Turner with this shit, dog. Like if bro, this shit is real, it ain't no like bullshit. Bro, like, like I said, and that's that's female or male. There's not a lot of situations where you used to whip out your pistol. Because not a lot of situations where I'm going to whip out my pistol. I'm not going to shoot you. Yeah. So when I shoot you, it need to be up. Not up. Like, up. It's up there. Yeah, the warning shot got to be. No, nah, ain't no warning shots. I'm not whipping out my pistol for no warning shots. I ain't going to lie to I you. Mean, I mean, I know that. Bro, but when I whip out my shit, you did. I'm not even shooting. He got to know, Meg. Don't I have practice no all the time. I promise you, you did. If you don't shoot me, you did. You can't. I'm not aiming for your leg. You can't aim straight for toward Meg, though. Bro, I'm aiming straight for your face. You can't aim straight toward Meg, That's why Meg, I told though. you it ain't no motherfucking, it ain't no motherfucking shit where I'm going to pull out my shit. You That's did. what I'm saying. Like, if License he do it. Carry, like, all of that shit. When I pull up my shit, you done. If you ain't shooting me, you're done. There's no more. They're going to reuse these for you. They're going to put you on a t-shirt for sure. I'm not going to pull out my pistol. He couldn't. I'm not going to pull out my pistol for no, like, like we could fight. I'm trying to figure out what he was thinking if he did do that. We could bro. dead like, ass rumble. He can't. You see what I'm saying? There's like, nothing we could there. rumble. I could win or I could lose. I'm not going to pull out my shit. Yeah. If I'm pulling out my shit, my life is in danger. Bro. As like a dude that's like 6'2 or 6'3". Like, I fought dudes that were shorter than me, but they was, like, they had more mass. So, I'm like, how the fuck am I going to get this nigga? 
but I've never thought about shooting those niggas. Well, I'm like 6'3", 220, and I never been in those type of altercations. People don't just run up on me for no reason. I mean, like, I'm not saying that niggas just, like, run up on me. I'm just saying, like, mm-hmm. if I'm in a situation where I got to defend myself, like, I've right. never felt like I got to skip a step to... Right. I no, always no, no, felt no. like I that's could what get I'm saying. Like, off me right, before right, I right, could. Bro, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to rumble with you. I'd rather rumble with you. Let's do this. I'm going to show you what you really not about. But that's what I'm saying. If it's coming to the point where I feel like my life is in danger and I up it, I'm not aiming for nothing but your face. Mm-hmm. And the first shot, if it don't hit you in the face, it's going to hit you somewhere. Yeah, somewhere the next right. one going to hit you in the face. <laughs> the next shot going to hit you in the face. And that's not because I'm so malicious or nothing like that. If I get to that I'm point, getting you out of there. Yeah. That way I know you're if not you going to retaliate. Point, none of that. If you get me to that point, then you deserve that shit. Because I'm not supposed to just do it. For right, bro. That's what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not out here looking for a nigga to be gone. Yeah. I'm out here trying to make some paper every day. You see what I'm saying? Do shit like that. So if you're looking at a situation where a nigga got to be gone, then it's up there. Either you know what one saying? of these balls have made it past this point of the cup, dog. <laughs> I was just finna grab me some, though. You feel me? Let me grab some real quick. You can hand me them. You want the strawberry? Um, You can hand me both. Oh, no. You're going to have to get them on your own because I can't reach that far. Yeah, but you you can definitely get those. <laughs> I'll be forgetting. <sighs> oh. I'm just gonna get it. Uh-huh. But for real though, like yeah, like it Again, was like shout out to you know Caviar Cocktails, Cocktail Caviar is the name. You know, and we gonna continuously rep it because we just feel it. You know, what CTC. I'm you feel me, CTC, and we gonna continuously hey. rep it. You did. Influence is a motherfucker. Yeah, you feel me. I'm and, telling um, you, bro. Y'all like, need to know what they do. I've been wearing the black shirts. I've been wearing the. I've been buying the black liquor. Like, oh no, cause it's CTC hold, all day. Hold it, holding it down, like it's CTC all day. I'm not saying that I'm looking for just. Give me a little bit of tequila. The 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 black companies to CTC, but somebody gone. Jose, what do you do, Jose? I've been holding it down for dripping like for like a good five to six years, bro. Dripping, oh, especially dripping, bro. See how we didn't we didn't had to stop saying your name, dripping, cause you ain't you ain't CCC, bro. We need that. You feel me? They using the hashtag, but they ain't. You feel me? <laughs> that shit in that shit in the lyrics, that shit in everything. You did. It's in everything. One second, y'all. I think we like real good at this shit, bro. Like, I don't think. Well, I know I am. I don't think it's like no shit that we would really like have to work at. Like, I think like the three of us together is like a pretty good. It's a pretty good shit. We say like a lot of shit that niggas would not say. Like, we push the envelope like more than Charlemagne, like more than fucking Joe, like. And I think that's because you know they they just too worried about. See me, I don't think they worried about it, but I I don't think I'm not worried about it because we not there. This ain't gonna be my. We never experienced the shit they did, so we this don't. This will never don't be care. my only source of income. Like when they become sending kids like that, that's like their primary job. Yeah, like this shit right here is purely for fun. You feel me? 
It's purely for that yeah, getaway. Yeah, we put our own money in here. Like, during a pandemic, nigga, this is the only time we going outside. This is the only time Recession we... proof, bitch. Yeah. You feel me? So, when we, when we talk about shit like this, I'm not worried about no shit like that. Because that ain't what I do. And that'll be never what I do. You know what I mean? Even if... Even, no, not if. When, when, when you know what I mean? They cut these checks for us additionally. It's like, you know, still... Is what it is, you know. But yeah, that's what it come down to, bro. You got different types of people, but everything's still the same. Mm -hmm. You know, everything's still the same, nigga. It's definitely gonna be hard for niggas to see it, see us in this shit, like especially if like we just keep doing it how we doing it, cause we really don't care. But man, and that's what it's about. Like I see all these different podcasts where they send all of these like broke back mountain opinions, and and I mean that by the by the stance of like they they are passive with it, you know. If you with the shit, you with the shit. If you're not, then don't be with the shit. I understand both scenarios. But don't play with me. Because I ain't going to play with you. You dig a ding. Yeah. It's definitely... It's definitely like some shit that that need to be said that I don't think they could say. And, like, editing the last couple episodes, like, I could see where we kind of, like, we got the topics that niggas don't talk about. Like, we we got the fucking... We pretty much uncensored, bro. Like, we don't have the media training that niggas would normally have when they get put in certain scenarios to... I feel like we do, though. I mean, I feel like... I mean, we do, but, like... I feel like the most important Because we know where to stop. ...is being, like, articulate. Yeah. And, and, and being on precise with your points. We do know where you know to stop. I mean? We know where to get our point across. Like, I think, like, the experience that we had in life gave us that. But, like, as far as, like, the training shit, like... It's some niggas that'll go out and say some shit, and then they'll fuck their whole career up. So you're saying we Randy Couture? The natural. Mm-hmm. Shout out to UFC. We'll take that sponsorship too. I'm I'm gonna always talk about the money, you know what I'm saying? But you know, um, yeah, man, that's a very tragic situation that we dealt with just recently. Black lives matter. Um, so LGB duck mat life matter regardless of yeah. the black lives. I mean matter. like even if like it was like some re retaliation shit where like it still matters a nigga didn't like agree with what he said in the diss song, like you got to be able to handle your beefs different. You know what I'm saying? Well, like words it, it can't ain't push even niggas. Just different to, it's just literally the world is bigger than wherever you at, and once you realize that, once you've been a few places, you realize that like the world's so much bigger than where you're at. Like the world, no matter where you are, no matter what block you on, what block you from, the world bigger than where you at. Mm -hmm. It's much bigger than where you at. You don't got to go outside the country to know that. You can stay in California your whole life and then go to somewhere like Atlanta. And then you realize, well, there's gangsters everywhere. And then also, I don't even got to be on this shit. I could just be chilling, going to Linux Mall, mm -hmm. shopping for what I want, fucking with a bad bitch. Enjoy my life. The world's so much bigger than where you at. Like, that boy was only 26. You see what I'm saying? Like, the life expectancy in America right now is, what, 72? So you're talking about, what, yeah. 50 years minimum? Well, in his case, 40 years, but you feel what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. 46 years minimum where he could have been, Like, just living like You see what I'm saying? Like, he died at 26, bro. Like, he ain't died at, at, at 70 or 65. Like, 
literally my man had 40 plus years of expected yeah. life. I mean, even if you died in your 60s, like he still had 40 something right. years he that he can. Of expected life, bro, where you're supposed to be living. If you died in your 70s, like right. then shot 50. You. Right. If you then died in your you. 80s, 60 something, like. Right. It's fucked up, bro. Like. Right. Even if you died in your 50s, still 20 something years of life that yeah. you had to go. Early 50s, like. Early 50s. Let's say yeah. he was 50 on the head. You still got 20 some years of life that you're supposed to have. And that shit crazy. And a lot of beefs really don't lead to that point. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, niggas are feel that they disrespected and they got a weapon so they feel like they could do something. And it's not. Niggas well, feel in like. In this era, it is. I ain't going to even hold you. Yeah, because like, niggas. In like, this era, if a nigga. Even if the nigga that killed him is not, like, known on social media, in the streets, somebody gonna know who this nigga is. Oh, no. And that's gonna mean something. Don't get me wrong. In Shot town that's the only way you even get noticed. Yeah. All that talking, money shit, like, you can make money, but you're not really willing to put a nigga under. And that matter. That matter in a lot of places, actually. That matter to a lot of women. I mean, it's a part of the game. Like, be, but if go, you really back participate in that nature. type of shit, if you a that civilian goes, right, or if you're not, right. like that, that goes back to the primal nature. Because if you're not willing to put a nigga under, then you just talking. I'm willing to go as far as he can go. Is the statement? The statement being that I'm willing to go to where you can't come back. Mm-hmm. If you're not talking about that, then you're not talking about nothing. Yeah, depending on what the scenario is. Unfortunately. Yeah. I learned that shit in the eighth grade. Mm-hmm. My mom, she was willing to help me, like, fight. Like, I was in... No, I wasn't even... I was in eighth grade. I was in seventh grade. Mm-hmm. It was, like, three niggas that had failed, so these niggas were supposed to be in ninth grade, and these niggas was in eighth grade. So, like... Me and one of my homeboys walked by and was like, damn, these niggas got mustaches and shit. Like, we fresh out the sixth grade, bro. It's the first semester, and we looking at niggas with mustaches, and we like, what the fuck? And these niggas is mad. Right. So now these niggas is beefing with us because we roasted them niggas when we walked past them. So when I'm sitting outside, and it's like eight of these niggas walk up, but three of these niggas done failed, but... They done got some of the niggas that's in their grade believing that they cool too. So, like, they running with them. And we like, bro, like, what the fuck? Like, so we beef with these niggas for, like, three years, for real. But these niggas walked up on me one time, and my mama was like, nah, bro. She came outside, like, y'all not supposed to jump my son, bro. Like, y'all supposed to have to deal with me too. And these niggas like, ah, for real? Like, you're a grown ass woman. And she like, well, it's like eight of y'all niggas and it's like one of him. And like me in seventh grade, bro. Like, I'm tall, but I'm skinny still. Right. Like, but that was a scenario where they're, they're contemplating the obstacles. Yeah. Because this is a, a grown person. They might have whatever they got. Mm-hmm. They got access to whatever they need. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying. Like, and ever since then, like, once I seen my mom was like, hey, I don't care how old y'all are. Like, if it's just to be eight on one, it's just to be eight on two. I don't care if I'm 35, nigga. Like, we just to get this shit in. And from that point on, I was like, I right, bet. Like, from whatever level that anybody want to take it to, I'm willing to take it there. Because my mom was willing to step out there against me and... A couple of fourteen year olds and a couple of thirteen year olds. See, baby. I never had that. I just had the understanding that from what what I did and what I what I used to do, what I do, what I, you know what I mean. Like it's always been that way. Like some of that shit, there's like personal experience though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like me, it's just been okay. Like I've been I smoking since I was twelve, but right, it's, I didn't do that. Like I was just doing my thing so the understanding there is yeah I mean with me set it off came out and a couple years later 
I caught on to it, and these niggas smoking on the roof. So my mom let one of my homeboys come over, and my mom and my dad. My dad, like he worked at barbershops and shit, and he ended up owning like his own barbershops. So when they out doing like some club shit that they invested in, me and my homeboy at like twelve, and we like, hey, bro, like let's get on the roof, bro, like. Set it off. I seen a couple years ago, nigga Cleo and fucking all the other ones. They was like, shit, nigga, let's roll up, nigga. We just get up on the roof, nigga. All we got to do is put our foot on the gate and hop up because we like when we two of the taller, like 12 year olds, so we could do whatever we want. Right. And we got on the roof, nigga. We up there smoking and shit. And stole my pops' weed. But See, I never did no shit like I just always been in a poor environment where I, I've seen so many murders that I understand that since I was like in kindergarten. I'm yeah, that's that's, that's that. part of my experience too because like when I was like I say seven, like I was chilling with my uncle, and I think we went on an unexpected mission. That you know what I'm saying? Right. My mom didn't know that we was gonna go on. Right. So he get off the car. I'm sitting in the car. Fucking he get out. He go do whatever he doing. He come running back to the car. Mm -hmm. He driving off. I don't know if a dude like threw something at the window or shot something at the window, but the back window is like busted out. And, like, the kind of hair that I got, like, my shit is, like, curly when it's in a fro. So, like, I'm, I'm like, seven, but I got, like, a little fro-type shit. Right. And, like, the whole back window is, like, busted out, and I'm in the back seat. So, it's, so like. you got a bunch of glass yeah. in your hair. And I remember that, and I remember making it home and my mom p picking glass out my hair. But other than that, like. Nah, me, the first time I probably was like six or whatever, and I remember just seeing a nigga brains on the ground. So that was like my first indication that like niggas die, die. Yeah, you know I, mean? I, rem I remember at a, at that around the same age that somebody that was like either a family friend or like a like distant relative had been killed by the cops. So, like, it's the same shit. Like, I could see where my parents, like, moved me from, like, one area to a different area. And, like, mm -hmm. I could see the patterns that I took and shit, but, like, everybody don't get that shit. Like, well, yeah, no, they don't, cause for whatever reason. In my case, it would have been the reason that wasn't nowhere to go. Like, I've dealt with this shit from every standpoint. Yeah. You know? But, nonetheless, like I say, it's not to say that I'm an ultimate gangster because nobody is. There's, the ultimate gangster is some crazy nigga that don't give a fuck about nothing. Yeah. That's the ultimate gangster. Mm-hmm. And hey, you see how his shit play out in every movie, so... Like, in my eyes, the ultimate, ultimate gangster. Scarface. Is fucking. Don't give a fuck about nothing. They don't care about their family. They don't care about life. They don't care about what they got. You got to be on some Joker type shit. Mm -hmm. That's the ultimate gangster. Scarface and the Joker are like the ultimate. Like, when niggas say, like, gangster shit that niggas are not normally on, those are the two characters that I normally think movie wise that. If you want to learn how to fail, like, them two niggas are the niggas that you need to look at. Right. And Thanks. you can learn from, from how they moved. Right. You can't, you can't misunderstand that. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm trying to be on some jet skis in the Black Sea. Yeah. So I ain't got no time for dying. Yep. You know, I want to be on a, a yacht in the Mediterranean. Right side out, right side, right outside of Santorini or some shit. Like 
Croatia, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Somewhere where where it's where it's yacht life is prevalent. You feel me? That's what I'm trying to be. Mm-hmm. Fuck all the dumb shit. I'm trying to be in Cape Cod doing some fucking wild Verde. shit. <laughs> niggas is out here, Monty bro. Monty Pichu, you under the Yep. Y'all yeah, niggas ain't heard of this shit. That's what I'm trying to be. We trying to do it. That's what I'm trying to be. All the other shit, irrelevant. But niggas really don't really... If you don't see it, like, you don't really know it's out there, I guess. And that's why I try to, like, educate a nigga. Maybe a nigga come across this podcast just on some bullshit where they wasn't even trying to be on this podcast and they found this shit because somebody retweeted it or Facebooked it or whatever. And they listen to it and they hear me. That's why I'm going to put them up on game. There's too much shit out here to be doing. Listen to a nigga from the poorest place in the United States. Not my opinion. That's what's... Ste- this it's facts, statistic. nigga. Like... So... Wi-Fi is everywhere, It bro. is what it is. Google is everywhere. Do your research. So I don't ever feel a way about nothing. Because to come from where I come from and be anything is a motherfucking blessing. Let alone, look, you know what I mean, a nigga is having. Yeah. Just an opportunity to give a nigga a chance to find out some shit on his own. Like... I think we took a long enough, like, absence, bro. Like, I really think we could really, like, do some shit with this shit. Oh, no, I know. Not even worry about that. Like, my whole thing is, like, like I always say, and this is my, 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 my motherfucking scenario, this is my motherfucking motto. Outside of thank God for grind. I drop gems. It's up to you to see the value. Yeah. Because niggas not going to take it to where we take it. Like, I don't think we care because we invested the money into this shit. Like, nobody backing you. Nobody is, like, when we going in and we buying the bottles, like, we saving the receipts, like... (laughs) Nobody backing yeah. us. We just do this we shit. We doing this shit our own. You like, feel me? So, I get it. You know yeah. what I mean? No, it ain't, it ain't no worries. There ain't nobody to, to answer about, to answer to. I get it. You know what I mean? And that is what it is. That shit alone right there is... It's priceless. Dangerous. It's dangerous, bro. No, I say it's Priceless. You wanna know why? Cause you can really be you. You can yeah. really say that shit you meant and mean that shit and nothing else is is gonna be from that. Like what people mess up is they get in situations where they can't do that. I would never do that. I'm not hurting to where I would look for a motherfucker to come bail me out yeah. to the point that where it's like, okay, I gotta do what you say. I'm nope. looking to create my own opportunity to where like Partnerships are nothing. Yeah. That's my motto. And if it ain't a partnership, then you must be dropping off a super bag. Some shit I can't find. So a super bag. And I doubt that. Yeah. Cause I seen a post the other day where it really broke down, like if you did a certain amount of shit a certain way and it was like really just like a certain couple hundreds every now and then mm-hmm. you'll be good bro like through a whole month it broke down the whole like niggas be waiting for you know what I'm saying 800 every two weeks niggas be waiting for Whatever it is that they get, you know what I'm saying? You might get 800, you might get 1200, you might get 1500 every two weeks or whatever. You might get more than that, you know what I'm saying? Depending on what your role is. But, like, the breakdown of it on your own, like, if a nigga sold 50 shirts at, like, $25, like, nigga be 
get into it. Niggas is twenty five shirts, twenty five dollars a piece. Uh, every hundred shirts is twenty five racks. No, every twenty five shirts twenty five hundred. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. And like whatever service that you choose to provide, like Nick, everybody. At, Got their own shit. So whatever you choose to provide, like you could definitely eat off that shit. And I don't think niggas do it. Like during the pandemic, I've been seeing niggas that love to cook. Niggas was like, fuck my job. If I get fired, I'm gonna sell plates. Like it's not all the niggas or all the people or whatever you wanna call them. Like, but you can see people like, hey. If my back is against the wall right now, this is what I could go to. Right. And it's not everybody because a lot of people is panicking, but if Me, more people thought stopped, that way. I stopped then, all of that. I don't panic since like 2000s. Like, been, I've been through enough shit to where I understand the concept that when you're back against the wall, you gonna make a decision either way it go. Yeah. Ooh. Even if you don't want to, you gonna make. Oh yeah, you see it. Yep. See it. You know what that is. My right? TV do the same shit. You no, know, you know I what that is. I've never seen that location before. Is that Middle East? Of course. Yep. <laughs> I knew it. That's the island in Dubai. Yep. Yeah. I knew it. You gotta put it on. With I wanted to go to Dubai for my birthday, bro, but like. Man, see me, I don't want to go to Dubai till I got a meal in the bank. Because I want to do shit a certain way. Like certain places, I haven't been just because I don't want to go there without a certain amount of money in my hand. Yeah, but for me, like, I know that I could afford Dubai and the way that I live my life already. Like, the rules that they want you to abide by when you get there, mm -hmm. I already do that shit. So... See, it wouldn't really be... I don't want to have no rules that I abide by. I mean... I guess I'm a little lawless. Yeah, I but mean, to a certain... In America, I would... At a certain amount a certain, of money... The way I live my life, bro, At a certain like, amount of money, you don't have to abide by anything. Yeah, but I I'm mean... Give it a bean. That's even down to, unfortunately, murder. You can do whatever you want. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not saying that you got to abide by them, but like... Rights and morals and shit like that. Well, like, that's what I'm already on. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's some shit that you can. I'm not trying to murder nobody or nothing. I'm saying like, you know, just a certain amount of like rules on this city. Of yeah, life. but it's I mean, more so about it's what some I shit be that doing. it's some shit in these countries that if you do, then you gotta face a certain consequence. Not on your. But yacht. if you if you're on a certain level, not on your yacht. Yeah, but if you're on a certain level, that you don't have to do that shit. Right. If it's we go out there, not on your yacht. Then we pretty, you know not what I'm saying? Your, like, not on your yacht, not on your your estate. Yeah. That's it that you gotta abide by because you're a, a citizen. Me, I'm trying to be to the level where I'm above that. Because we know it's above that. You feel me? It is. It's up. There. Yeah, but when when some niggas like us go out there, we already know. Like, what they own, so... Right. We already fit the description before we land. Like... Mm. I don't fit the description. Mm. I don't fit the description because whatever your description is, I know I've already exceeded that. Yeah. Now it's time to... But, I mean, that's on certain now levels, though. Get my name in a that's on certain levels, though. When you got to meet certain standards, that's when you... I'm just trying to get my name in the record books. Everything outside of that... Sometimes... Sometimes the niggas that names is in the record books is the niggas that's like they done already over exceeded everything, so niggas not gonna really mention them as much as they mention everybody else. And if that's the case, I wish to forever forever remain nameless. But up until that point That's what I'm saying, bro, like you might as well just join the bandwagon, my nigga. Like I can't do it. Bro. I'm me, bro, you know me. You know me, bro. I know you. I can't do it. I shall forever be. If I'm not, then I don't want to be. 
the great. If I'm not, I don't want it. I die like that. When Black Lives Matter, mm-hmm. but I die like that. I mean, you already know how we operate anyway, so like. <laughs> forever, forever. It ain't nothing for us, bro. Like forever. Ah, uh, I did want to get into the fucking Bobby Smarter. Oh, we can, we can, we can, we can, we can. You know, right after these commercial breaks, let's get into it. <laughs> after these well-needed breaks, we are back, and uh, this still is the Poet Podcast. We are, you know, one of the few podcasts that you can get that real from, and that's what's going to, you know, be our separating factor. If you want to ever ask, what's different about Poet Podcasts? It's because a lot of people talk in a very boxed-in mindset, and we really try to come from different perspectives with a lot of shit, you know what I mean? And, you know, that that can go to anything that we deal with. We just really want to keep it real, you feel me? Keep it keep it raw. If it ain't raw, then I don't like it, you know what yeah. I mean? It's just like, damn, and like how I like my steaks, you feel me? We trying to be the realest niggas on that shit. We not trying to sugarcoat any conversation that we have. It's, if anything that we say is... If anything we say is offensive, we it, mean it. Yeah. We trying to have the conversations that everybody else don't have. You did. That's, that's the whole goal. It's a whole bunch of conversations that's held. What are they really talking about, though? Everybody got something to say, but do you want to hear it? That's the question. Yeah. I mean, we doing this shit over drinks, and you know what I'm saying? Niggas can say that's going to alter the mood or whatever, but, like, whatever we say, that's how we really, like, feel, or that's how we really think, or that's how, like, the the conversation might I'm be skewed at that time. Caviar cocktail. Or cocktail caviar. Yeah. So I need a little bit more. But shout out to cocktail caviar. I know y'all want to be ripped up. CTC. You know what I'm saying? And we, we we definitely the right brand to do it. Shout out to Jose. Shout out to Red River once again. Shout out to, Shout the out to Gold Bar. Gold Bar. Shout out to Noble Wolf. Shout out to Dripping Spring. You Shout out to Raylene. Shout out to... Shout out to Ocean Spray that I keep in my cup. You dig? You know what I'm saying? One of the one. You dig? Yeah, we might not have the most views right now, but it's a couple brands out there that really like well, I don't ride care about with us. The most views, I got and the most influence. Yeah, who more influential than I? It's got it's that's where it really come down to. I ain't got to be the most viewed when I'm in your presence. Oh, I'm gonna leave a presence, and that's gonna be a present. You under dig? That's how I feel. That's what it's gonna come down to in the end. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it come down to. But when we left off, we was talking about Bobby Schmurder. Yeah. Who coming home real soon. Meanwhile, out here, you got what? A hundred rats, maybe 200 rats that's still popping. And even the most prevalent rat. I want to say his name because I don't want to give him no more fame than he got. But yeah. the most prevalent rat that's popping out of New York, he's been calling out rats. So you can check that out. He's been trolling the internet the last couple of days. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like Bobby Smurder bag is going to be way bigger than his when he get out just because of the way that he kept it and the way that he Because Smurder got that respect. He can operate any way that he want to when he come out. Because Smurder got something that a lot of... And I, I love New York. I've been there down in Manhattan where the buildings are so tall, you can't even see the top of them. I want to go. When you look up, your head hurt. i never been. You can never get your neck up high enough. That's I done Seattle. been there. That's Seattle. Love New... No, no. On the I, screen. No, I on love, the screen right there, that's Seattle. I was like, I was that, say, I love, that's beautiful. I love, I, love New, I love New York. It's a fun place to be. 
But New York is known for having a lot of rats. Yeah. A lot of the the kingpins and 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 bosses flipped. Alpo, Frank Lucas, Nikki Barnes. Um, you got people that flip in sex money murders. You got yeah, but this is a 2017 to 2020 nigga, so he not like on that level. Like, oh no. Money wise, he on their level. Yeah, money wise, he is. But like, so that's what I'm considering. If influential wise, he's on that level. Of course, but not influential. Maybe not pack wise, but yeah. influence. I feel like he still was. Yeah. Because at the time when he got knocked, every every person that was popping in New York wanted to deal with him. He's on that level, like that way, but like on a street to civilian level, mm-hmm. like you get put in a certain bracket and. He can get dealt with a certain way. Right. So, like, he's not, like, somebody that I just would feel like would be able to make it. Like, you could troll and you could do all this shit, but you could only make it a certain time doing some shit that you're doing. And it's not worth the bag that you trying to get. Nothing is worth your life. Yeah. No bag is worth your life because in the end... Like, I always tell people, what good is it to profit $100 million if you got to work 365 days out of the year? Yeah, and right now, you can't do no shows. You can't do, like, a lot of shit that you would normally be able to do when you get out of jail on this type of shit. Like, if he got out of jail and there wasn't no pandemic, he might be able to eat for a little bit. Well, but no, you it, have no, to do no, this shit. I'm not going to lie. That's, and that's on y'all. That's on the people, the fans, the culture. He would eat the same. The reason why these record labels gave him a ten plus million dollar deal is not because he don't actually have influence. And I know this to be true because what? If you watch brands like Say Cheese, shout out to Sean Cotton, mm-hmm. Collab, let's see that post, bro. You feel me? But shout out to Sean Cotton. If you watch if you watch brands like that, you'll see shit where he's doing meet and greets and people are crying to meet him and shit like that. Because like like a bunch of the OGs have said, Lord Jamal, XX and O, a lot of these people that follow him ain't street. Bro, these hoes is banging. Always banging. A lot of these people that follow him ain't street. So because they not street, you get what you get. You see what I'm saying? So you got people that they don't care nothing about what he snitched on this and the third. They just looking at People follow clout. Yeah. Like, we've learned that from social He's media. He's entertaining them, so they don't really right. care they don't about really what's care. going on. Versus somebody like Bobby Schmurter, which is in the hood or, or stand-up black people terms, a person that did it right. He didn't cooperate with, with the people that he shouldn't cooperate with. I ain't going to give him no fame either. But Bobby Schmurter did it right. He did his time. He will come home like a man. They can look himself in the eyes. As a matter of fact, he going to come home like a king because he took more time than he needed to. He wasn't even being offered that time. He took that time so his person could get less. That's a respectable gentleman right there. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah. Not just what I say I rap about. Him and Rowdy and all right. the other See niggas that did all, they sh- all they, the shit. They, that they, they took their shit standing up. Like, all of them is respectable. Nobody got mad. Nobody got, you know what I mean, uh, flustered to the point where they wanted to do something because they knew what, what, it, what it was and they did what they did. Mm-hmm. So they live how they live. You see what I'm saying? Like, that count. And there's a lot of people that can't say that they are who they say they are in pressure situation. Because, see, a bunch of people going to talk and make no mistake. You got a whole bunch of people that talk about a whole bunch of different shit. But in pressure situations, are you still that same person? More often than not, they not. When it comes time to actually be who you said you was, you're not that person. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And that's what that's what count. Like when it's time to be that person, you're not that person. You're you're gonna 
be whoever you are. But the main thing about it is everybody get the opportunity to be who they say they are. That don't mean you got to be a gangster. But I'm saying in nine times out of ten scenarios, no matter who you're supposed to be, you aren't that person. Like, if you're supposed to be an understanding person, you don't be understanding. If you're supposed to be a cool person, then you be hot. If you're supposed to be... See what I'm saying? Like, I'm not yeah. talking about just about gangster shit. I'm saying people that say they one thing gonna be that way. A chick that's supposed to be freaky, you finally get to fuck her and she can't suck no dick. What was you meaning when you said freaky? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's very rare. So when you, you finally You can't suck no dick and you want me to be the missionary king. You feel me? And like, and so when you meet her and then you finally fuck her, it's like, ah. It's very rare that you meet that bitch that can really... Suck your dick and lick your balls at the same time. Mm-hmm. But when you do, you're going to hold it in a higher regard. Same thing here. A motherfucker that actually stand on their word, that actually is about what they said they're going to be about, is rare. Mm-hmm. No way around it. And then when you're talking about the scenario this person is in, which is facing the ultimate adversity. That's why Boosie gets so much love. Yeah. Boosie was on the death penalty. He was on death row. He lived on death row for like four years. Fuck that shit niggas talking about. We talk about what needs to be talked about. That's why you fucking subscribe. That's why you hit the notification mm. bell. That's why you hit the like button. Because we talk about that shit that need to be talked about. I'm trying to get your brain jogging on some real shit. Fuck the dumb shit. Yeah. Once again, shout out to Ocean Spray for making one hundred percent fire cranberry juice. It go perfect with my yak. But in that same regard, yeah. I don't want to get too far off the the beaten path. I feel like we had a great podcast. Bro. You know what I mean? On some shit. We probably went overboard, but... We probably went overboard. So let's just chill out for this one. Bro. I know you want to hear us talk Niggas got to say the shit that niggas don't want to say, though. I know you want to hear us talk more. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We here for you. The shit you want to hear about... Tell us about. We listening. You did. It's been Rick Code. It's been Dubs eight one seven. Chef Chad. Yeah, we first get them on Twitter, bro. Don't worry. And this has <sighs> been the Poet Podcast. You did already. <sighs>